time we absorb facts, information, and skills. We get our theoretical and practical understanding through education and experience. It's called Knowledge. Welcome to television's longest running high school quiz show, Knowledge Bowl. Let's join two of our competing Northeast Michigan high schools and our host, Joe Rivarchik, for today's match. Hello Northeast Michigan and welcome to Knowledge Bowl. I'm Joe Rybarczyk and it's my pleasure to be your moderator today for Northeast, Northeast Michigan's longest running high school quiz show. Um, first, I want to start off by thanking our judge D Dylan Arthur by being f for joining us today. And also we're going to uh, start our introductions with our two teams. Um, we've got Fairview on my left and Standard Sterling on my right. And let's start off with introductions with Fairview's uh, team captain. Chris Maurer, sophomore. Nathaniel Eastman, freshman. Lauren Krupinski, junior. Pearl Kilmer, junior. Marianna Hall, senior. Nathan Alchin, freshman. Emily Lansack, sophomore. And they're joined by their coach, Steve Gussler. Thank you for joining us today. And then we'll start with uh, Standard Sterling with their team captain. Madison Schwab, senior. Mackenzie Martin, junior. Katie Van Aaron, senior. Nicole Poyer, senior. Lynn Gellman, sophomore. Dean Nadell, junior. And they're joined by their coach, Jennifer Gelman. Thank you, Andrew Sterling. And we're just about to start our first round, but before we do, here's how it works. Round one is a toss-up format. A question will be asked, and the first competitor to ring in has the opportunity to answer the question. If a correct answer is given, the team is awarded 10 points. No consulting is allowed. If the answer is incorrect, then the question goes to the opposing team to answer. All right, so let's begin our first toss-up round. This Republican's highest office before the presidency was as a senator from Indiana from 1881 to 1887. Name this politician grandson of another president. The answer is Benjamin Harrison. In a circle with diameter AB, if the radius is seven centimeters, find the length in centimeters of the arc AB. Uh, Madison? Seven pi. That's correct. Okay. Cato the Younger was one of the first to use this tactic as he opposed proposals by Julius Caesar in the Roman Senate. Strom Thurmond had an assistant Mackenzie? Filibuster? Correct. Good job. <laughs> All right. Name the title character of the Oscar Wilde play who says, Bring me the head of John the Baptist. All right, the answer is Salome. Of whom did General MacArthur say, He'll make a fine president. He was the best clerk who ever served under me. That would be Dwight D. Eisenhower. What Arabic word with two identical syllables is a granular wheat served as hot pasta or cold in salads? Uh, pearl. Couscous. That's right, couscous. The food's so nice they named it twice. <laughs> it's listed as one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, but there's no archaeological evidence that it actually existed. Name this legendary landmark purportedly devised by Nuboshed Nazar II, but only documented by Greek and Roman writers. The uh, Lighthouse of Alexandria. Sorry, that's incorrect. Anyone from Fairview? It'd be the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. Okay. During a chemical reaction, reactants are combined to create a new substance. What term designates these new substances that are formed? Nathaniel? Solution. Sorry, that's incorrect. Anyone from? Uh, uh, products. That's correct, products. The male of this species is venomous. He can deliver poison to other animals via spurs on his hind legs. Um, Mackenzie. Platypus. That's correct. <laughs> You'll get there by going due south from the Iron Hills. 
but most people get there through Minas Morgul. What is this part of Middle Earth home to Sauron? Mordor. That's correct. He ran for the United States Senate, but dropped out of the race after being diagnosed with prostate cancer. Who is this man who received an honorary knighthood from Queen Elizabeth II as a result of his actions as the mayor of New York City during the terrorist attacks of September 11, 2001? That'd be uh, Rudolph Giuliani. It possesses the island of Spitsbergen, and Europe's northmost city is located there. The Kalmar Union lasted from 1397 to 1523 and included Denmark, Sweden, and what other nation? It'd be Norway. Bliss, the most viewed photograph in the world was shot by Charles O'Rear in 1996 in the California wine country. What Microsoft product used this scene of rolling green hills and blue skies for its default wallpaper? Madison? Or, oh. sorry, Mackenzie? Windows. Uh, can you be more specific than that? Windows 99. Sorry, that's incorrect. Anyone from Fairview? Grace? Windows 95. Sorry, it's actually Windows XP. Okay. This extended essay by Virginia Woolf dealt almost exclusively with women's equality and its application to modern education. More specifically, it deals with the effects that unequal education for females has on society and the arts. Name this work released in 1929 that proclaims feminine rights and privacies. Okay, that'd be a room of one's own. Nine senators are honored with portraits in the reception room of the U.S. Senate. Among them are what great triumvirate, a trio of the 19th century senators, one from Kentucky, one from South Carolina, and one from Massachusetts. So we're looking for the name of the senator. Sorry about that. It could be Henry Clay, John C. Calhoun, and Daniel Webster. And I'll do one more here. Um, from this valley, they say you are going. I will miss your bright eyes and sweet smile, for they say you are talking the sunshine, taking the sunshine. That has brightened our pathway a while. That's the first stanza of what old cowboy song? It's the Red River Valley. And that'll do it for our first round. We'll be right back with some, for some scores and for round two. Hello and welcome back. Um, to start off, I've got some scores for you. For the first round, we have 10 with Fairview with 10 and Standard Sterling with 50. Um, now we're gonna begin our second round, which is a bonus round, but before we do that, here's how it works. This is the bonus round. It consists of toss-up questions, as in round one. However, this is the twist. The team answering correctly then gets four bonus questions. For each question answered correctly, a series of points will be awarded. Team members can consult, but only the team captain can answer the question. After an incorrect answer, the toss-up portion begins again for both teams. Okay, so we'll go ahead and start off with some toss-up questions. The longer slope of these thin asymmetrical hills points along the forming glacier's direction of motion. What are they called? Okay, that's drumlins. This dance of African origin reached Europe by way of Havana, Cuba. The most familiar one is Bizet's Carmen. Name this dance. Uh, Mackenzie. A tango. Sorry. Anyone from Fairview? Okay, that'd be the habanera. 25 is an example of a square that is a sum of two smaller squares, 16 and 9. Identify the next highest integer after 25 that fits the description of being the sum of two smaller squares. Yeah, 
answer is 100. So the sum of the squares 6 and 8. In terms of cosine, express cosine squared of 5x minus sine squared of 5x. be cosine of 10x. An assertion that serves as the basis for criminal prosecution or a civil lawsuit. That's the definition of what 10-letter word starting with A? That's allegation. Methylene blue is often used in high school biology labs to stain human cheek cells to make what organelle more visible with a compound microscope? Mackenzie? Uh, skin cells. Uh, sorry, that's incorrect. Anyone from Fairview? Uh, Nathaniel? Mm -hmm. or, it wasn't me. Mitochondria? Sorry, it's actually the nucleus. What class of saturated hydro hydrocarbons have all single bonds and no rings? alkanes. In, 19, sorry, in 1798, a London hatter made the first top hat of silk, thereby reducing the demand for what pelts from America? Mackenzie. Beaver. Beaver is correct. And so we'll go ahead and move on to a bonus question here. All right. From a definition, give me the eight-letter word. To look alike or be similar to. Identical? I'm sorry, that's not what we're looking for. <clears throat> okay. Back to the bonus or the toss up questions then. What is the surface area of a cube in square meters if one edge measured measures six meters? The answer is 216. What river flows between Lake Ontario and Lake Erie and forms part of the border between Ontario and New York? It'd be the Niagara River. Kazumura Cave. By far the deepest in the U.S. at 3,614 feet is a pipe-like opening running down into a volcano in this state. Name this state the only one not to have ever recorded temperatures below zero degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, let's see, uh, Madison. Hawaii. That's correct. I'll go back to bonus questions then. The topic is math. <laughs> Pick a number from 1 to 100. Multiply that number by 99. Then add it together, sorry, then add together the digits in your answer. What number do you come up with? Eighteen? Eighteen is correct. Yeah. All right, Judith is exactly 18 years older than Brad. If today the sum of their ages is 52, how old will Brad be in one year? Thirty-four. Thirty-four? I'm sorry, the answer is actually 18. <laughs> All right, we'll go back to the toss-up questions. Rastafarians chant songs from the King James Version of this biblical book every morning. Name this book whose 150 songs are meant to be sung with stringed instrumental accompaniment. Uh, Nathaniel. Psalms, that's great. We'll move on to bonus questions. The 
topic is WC. Identify the occupation of Claude WC. Doctor. Doctor. Sorry, that's incorrect. <laughs> it's composer. Okay, we'll go back to the toss of questions now. What would you say if the learned, sorry, what would you say of the learned here who replete with the pernacity of the ASP have steadfastly refused, of the ASP, had, <laughs> have steadfastly refused to cast a glance through the telescope? What shall we make of this? Shall we laugh or shall we cry? Galileo wrote this in a 17th century letter to what fellow astronomer? Uh, Mackenzie. Copernicus. Sorry, that's incorrect. Anyone from Fairview? Uh, Nathaniel? Aristotle. Oh, I'm sorry, it's actually Johannes Kepler. So that will do it for our second round. We'll be back with some scores and for our 60 second round. Okay, welcome back. We've got some scores for you. We've got Fairview with 20 and Standard Sterling with 75. And we've also got an alternate on the Standard Sterling side. So welcome, Ben Gelman. Thanks for joining. We're going to be moving into our 60 second round now, but before we do, here's how it works. This is our 60 second round. The team with the lowest score selects from one of the four categories of 10 questions. The team that has 60 seconds to answer as many questions as possible. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. Any missed questions will then be answered by the opposing team. An additional 20 point bonus is awarded for answering all 10 questions correctly. All right, so let's begin our 60 second round. We're gonna start off with Fairview and their topic today is tools. Tools of the trade, actually. Okay, we'll start off. Name the profession that is most likely to use each of these tools. T-square. Carpenter. Correct. Cyclotron. Pass. Psychrometer. Pass. Reaper. Farmer. Correct. Astrolabe. Astronomer. Uh, sorry. Ledger. Librarian. Mm, sorry. Altimeter. Geologist. Sorry. Lathe. Pass. Spoiler. Pass. And transit. Pass. Okay. So we'll give uh, Standard Sterling a chance to get any past or missed questions. Cyclotron. A physicist? Correct. Psychrometer. Chemist. Sorry, it's a meteorologist. Uh, Reaper. Oh, sorry, I think I got that one. Astrolabe. Uh, pass. Okay. Ledger. <coughs> Accountant. Correct. Altimeter. Altimeter. Uh, meteorologist. Sorry. Lathe. Factory worker. Uh, I'll give that to you, yeah. Uh, spoiler. Um, pass. And transit. Engineer. I'm sorry. Okay. Now we'll go ahead and move on to Standish Sterling's side. And their topic today is Stephen King movies. Identify these films from blurbs in Time Magazine. Blood on a Prom Dress. Carrie. Carrie? Correct. The Definitive Writer's Block Movie. Hi, honey, I'm home. The Shining. The Shining? Correct. The Definitive Writer's Block Cure. Nurse Nasty and Her Mallet. Pass. Okay. A Homicidal 58 Plymouth Fury. Christine. Christine? Correct. Arnold Schwarzenegger on a killer quiz show. 
Pass. Bad doggy menaces mom and kid in car. Cujo, or Cujo, Cujo. I'm sorry. Correct. Girl with pyrotechnique. Firestarter. Fire Firestarter. Fire Fire Correct. Affecting melodrama about precognition. Pass. Virtual reality video game. Pass. A mother's love can raise the dead. Pet cemetery. Pet cemetery. Sorry. All right. Now I'll give Fairview a chance to get any pass or missed questions. The definitive writer's block cure: Nurse Nasty and her mallet. Pass. Be misery. Arnold Schwarzenegger on a killer quiz show. Pass. The running man. <laughs> Affecting melodrama about precognition. Pass. The dead zone. Virtual reality video game. Pass. The lawnmower man. And a mother's love can raise the dead. Pass. That'd be sleepwalkers. Okay. And that's going to do it for our 60 second round. We'll be right back with some scores. Welcome back. We've got some updated scores for you. We've got uh, Fairview with 40 and Standish Sterling with 155. Now we're going to move on to our fourth and final round, which is another toss up round. So let's start that. It's home to the European Central Bank, it's the G8 nation with Europe's largest economy. The Bauhaus School of Design originated in what country? Uh, Madison. Switzerland. Sorry, that's incorrect. Anyone from Fairview? Uh, Nathaniel. Germany. Germany is correct. Dr. Mark Okrand devised what language spoken by Lieutenant Worf and Chancellor Gorkin as part of this and Star Trek. Sorry, yeah, you're right. It's Klingon, correct. Since 1888, it has helped fund more than 3,000 projects, including trips to the North Pole and explorations for the sunken Titanic. What is this scientific and educational organization perhaps best known for its magazine with a yellow bordered? National Geographic. National Geographic is right. What is the least amount of coins that can make up 49 cents? Uh, Nathaniel? Five. Sorry, that's incorrect. Anyone from Standish Sterling? Madison? Seven. Seven is correct. Brachiosaurus had a long neck and hind legs shorter than front, so it's most often compared to which African animal? Uh, sorry, uh, pearl. Giraffe. Giraffe is correct. Yeah. The only North American territory occupied by the Japanese in World War II consisted of two islands in what chain that separates the Bering Sea from the Pacific Ocean? That'd be the Aleutian Islands. Chemicals produced by one animal that alter the behavior of another animal of the same species are called? Pheromones. That's correct. From the Greek for dwarf, what emerging ology deals with materials and devices measured on an atomic or molecular scale? It'd be nanotechnology. For almost a year, the North and South stood as, at a stalemate outside this Virginia city. The North's grand plan to tunnel under the Confederate line and create a devastating explosion with underground bombs failed miserably when the, explosion when the explosion created a hole that the Yankees rushed into, only to be slaughtered by Rebs standing atop the perimeter. That fiasco came to be known as the Battle of the Crater. All of this took place in what city south of Richmond that has the same name as the capital of Russia at the time? Nathaniel. St. Petersburg. That's correct. 
Irving was a 20th century, century novelist who, with his son, wrote popular references, including The Book of Lists and The People's Almanac. Henry A. was Secretary of Agriculture for Franklin Roosevelt and later became Vice President. George C. was a segregationist Southerner governor who, def who defied federal authorities in 1963 and ran for President in 1968. Mike was a top-rated TV journalist into his 90s. Give me the common surname. Wallace was the name. In 1978, President Jimmy Carter brought together Yasser Arafat from the Palestine, Palestine Liberation Organization and Menachem Begin from Israel to meet in the U.S. to try to work out their differences. As their host, Carter was able to broker an agreement between them that led to the return of the Gaza Strip to Egypt and, Isra and, sorry, and Israeli access to the Sioux Canal and the Red Sea. These agreements came to be known by the name of the place where they met. By what name are these agreements known? Uh, the Geneva Accords. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Anyone from, from Fairview? Sorry. Uh, be the Camp David Accords. To fund his second voyage, he promised as much gold as they need and as many slaves as they would order to be shipped. Who was he? Uh, Nathaniel? Christopher Columbus. That's correct. Garden of the Gods is a rock formation in this state. It's the source of the headwaters of the Rio Grande. The greatest number of avalanches annually in the contiguous 48 states happen in what state? Nathaniel? Denver. I'm looking for a, for a state. Colorado. All right, yeah, that's good. That's right. Sorry. Though several of these stories were told of the German Baron von Munchausen in the 1780s, they flourished on the American frontier in the 19th century. What kind of stories, designated by two alliterative words, include stories of Pecos Bill, John Henry, Katie? Tall tales. Tall tales, that's correct. All right, well that's gonna do it for our fourth, fourth and final round. We will be right back with the final scores. Welcome back, we've got some final scores for you. We've got Fairview with 100, and Standish Sterling with 195. So congratulations, Standish Sterling. Um, please join us next week where we'll be having a match between Whittemore, Prescott, and Ogemaw. Until then, have a great day. <laughs>